So guys, about a week ago, I have posted a video about how to create a Hackintosh. And whether you are creating that Hackintosh on your computer or on your laptop, the process is roughly the same. But what I didn't fully understand at the time, and a lot of other people apparently as well, because they started texting me about it, is how the hell do you boot without a USB stick? Now, I had a lot of problems with this because no matter how many times I tried to install Clover using the Clover installer, my BIOS still wouldn't see it. Now, what I didn't know is it is actually a lot easier than that. So today I will show you guys exactly how to boot your Hackintosh without having to plug in your Clover or your open core USB stick every time. So before we begin, I will get the mug sip in because a lot of people were very angry at me because I haven't put the mug sip in in the past few videos. So let's get the mug sip in. Ow, 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 ah, that burns. The weather is no better than it was yesterday. It was supposed to be colder. It is a little bit. I decided to get up earlier just to beat the weather and um, I don't think I succeeded. So guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So first of all, well, you want to boot into your Hackintosh. So this is the part where you guys would plug in your USB stick and spam F12 to basically get into macOS Catalina or whatever firmware you guys are using. And as you can see, I'm booting fully without a USB stick. This is just entirely on my hard drive. And as I said earlier, this is a lot, lot easier than you might think from trying to install using the Clover installer. This is actually really, really simple, which is why I didn't think it would work but apparently it does. So I kind of figured this out myself by looking at the Windows EFI partition and seeing what's going on there, even though I'm almost 100% certain this is on the internet somewhere. Everything is opening, no! So as you guys can see, I am currently... As you guys can see, I am currently on my macOS desktop. And what you want to do from here is you want to launch your disk utility. So here we go, we're going to launch disk utility and you want to make sure show all devices is selected. Now, if you're on Catalina, you are probably running the APFS file format. Actually, you definitely are. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have show all devices ticked because if you don't, this is what it's going to look like. Now, these are containers and this is where you don't want to create the partition. So you want to click show all devices, select the main drive that all the containers are under and then click partition. Now what you want to do, this is actually really simple. I don't know why I gave it a gigabyte and 36. That's kind of a waste of storage. What you basically want to do is you want to add a partition and make it about 200 megabytes. That is all it needs to be literally only 200 megabytes. You want to name it EFI in all caps, formatted as MS-DOS FAT, and I'm going to click cancel because I already have that done. And then you want to go into your finder. You want to scroll down, select that new EFI partition that you just created, and you want to plug in your USB stick with your EFI folder and quite simply just drag it into this EFI partition. That is it. Literally, the only issue I have with this is this partition will be constantly mounted. So you'll actually end up seeing it in Windows. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this partition in Windows so that you don't see it every time you boot up because for some like myself, that can be pretty annoying. Now, when you restart your computer and spam F12, you should see something along the lines of UEFI OS show up on your boot menu, or at least that's what shows up for me. But let's remember I'm on a gigabyte motherboard. It could be different for every motherboard you use. So right now when it reboots, it should reboot straight into Windows. By the way, guys, computer build coming up very, very soon. I got the notification from Amazon that my processor has been dispatched. So very, very soon this week, computer build. So we are now back into Windows. Please ignore the state of my desktop. It is absolutely beautiful. What you want to do when you're in Windows is you want to launch your file explorer, right click on this PC, go into manage. Also, excuse my computer fans. They're all on max right now. It's way too hot. Go into disk management. And this is actually where you will see that EFI partition. 
you will know that it's the EFI partition that belongs to Mac OS X because you won't be able to read the rest of the partition names. As you can see here, it says healthy primary partition, but because it's an APFS file format, you don't have any options to do with it. The only option you have is to delete the volume. So what you want to do here, as you can see, it says EFI, yours will have a letter assigned to it because Windows automatically assigns letters to all partitions. And as you can see here, if I scroll down, I can see H, EFI, H. So this doesn't look very clean and I want to get rid of it. So all you do is you right click on your EFI partition that you want to get rid of and you click change drive letters and paths. Now, once you click that, you will see your drive letter here. All you do is you click remove and the partition will still be there. You will still be able to boot from it, but it will be gone from your Windows File Explorer. And that is literally how simple it is. There's nothing else to it. All you do if you want to boot Mac OS X straight from your hard drive is you need to create an EFI partition and drag your EFI folder from your USB stick straight to that partition. Then if you're still keeping Windows, some people are actually not keeping Windows. Some people are just using their Hackintosh for Mac OS X. In that case, you can just leave it. You don't need to do the second half at all. But if you do still dual boot into Windows like myself, you might want to get rid of that partition so that it doesn't show up and annoy you in your Windows File Explorer. So that is what the second half is for. That is how you would conquer that issue. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope this video helped you out. I hope you found out something you didn't know. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works as well, but make sure to tell me why in the comment section below. If you guys aren't yet subscribed to the channel, we're trying to get to 10k and we're constantly growing, so make sure to slam that subscribe button with your forehead. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps the channel out a lot. If you guys are into tech, I post tech videos daily, and if you guys like VR, I post VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. And sometimes I actually post more VR videos because some absolutely incredible companies are sending things on for us to review. Uh, like yesterday, VR cover sent on their amazing new silicone covers, which you should definitely check out in this video. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. Join our Discord where we have a constantly growing community and we talk about literally anything and have a lot of fun. Join us on Reddit and post your spicy memes there because I want to have a great laugh. And when there's enough people posting things there, I will make a series about it so that we can all have a great laugh. So guys, that is going to be it. If you guys liked the video, once again, make sure to smack that subscribe button, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, it's Editor Me from the future again. I'm just here to announce a crazy new series that is hopefully going to start maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to figure out when it's starting, but I just confirmed with the Discord server that you guys want this to happen. So we're going on Wish and we're buying some crazy VR accessories. And uh, yes, this is also me trying to get the video to 10 minutes. I don't even know why I do it. I don't put in mid-roll ads anyway, because I... I hate mid-roll ads, so I assume everybody else hates mid-roll ads as well. Um, once the Wish series starts, I might have to start putting in mid-roll ads because that is going to cost me money. But for now, no mid-roll ads. No, there's a there's a ban on mid-roll ads. <laughs> um, but yeah, once I do start spending more and more money on the Wish series, on the Fiverr series, I will have to start putting in mid-roll ads. I hope you guys can understand that. But uh, yeah, this was just me popping in, letting you guys know that... Um, Yes, this is going to be a new series. We are going on Wish and we are buying some crazy things. They are going to take an incredibly long time to arrive. Uh, I hope the channel is still alive by that point. That's not a joke, by the way. Please don't leave me. Let me know, you guys, uh, what you think about the brand new series down in the comment section below. Let me know what other things you think I should be buying on Wish, because I really want to know what things you guys want to see me buy on Wish. Because uh, when we're going on there, we're buying a lot of stuff. We're not just buying like one or two things. Otherwise, it won't be worth the wait. Like three months, that's the, if we buy one or two things, that's just not going to be worth the wait. So go down into the comment section right now and let me know what you think we should be buying on Wish. Now, I saw the Galaxy Buds on there for like super cheap. I think we need to get those. For all you haters out there, for me trying to get to 10 minutes, look, at least I'm not putting just a black screen to get to 10 minutes, which a lot of other larger YouTubers are doing. At least I'm giving you content to watch. Come on, give me some credit. Just before we end though, I'm really interested, you know, I keep telling everybody to smack the subscribe button with their forehead. I want to know if that's actually possible. So let's just pretend that's the subscribe button, the, the customized channel button right there. Let's just pretend that's it. That didn't work. Okay, let, let, let's do this.